Sometimes we get so caught up in the world around us that we forget about all the stunning creatures that live in parts of the world that are uninhabitable by humans. Today we're looking at 10 mysterious deep sea creatures caught on camera. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Harp Sponge. Typically, if we think of a sea sponge, it isn't a tremendously thrilling species unless he lives in a pineapple under the sea. They generally aren't much to look at, and they typically eat by straining microorganisms out of the surrounding water, consuming the microorganisms in it. But the harp sponge isn't your typical sponge. It was first discovered in 2012 off the coast of California. This was also at a depth of nearly 12,000 feet. The largest one found to date was almost 60 centimeters in length. As for its name, the harp sponge is named that because of its resemblance to a lyre, an ancient Greek string instrument. It's actually fairly similar to a modern harp. But perhaps the most shocking thing about the sponge is how it feeds. This particularly carnivorous sponge works a lot like leafy land carnivores. Instead of filtering microorganisms, the harp sponge uses sticky hooks to ensnare prey like copepods and other crustaceans. Once the prey is captured, the harp sponge releases a digestive membrane that surrounds the organism and begins breaking it down. Once it's finished, the sponge is free to absorb the nutrients through a series of specialized pores. I think this gives the phrase, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs, a whole new meaning. Number 9. The Goblin Shark. This incredible deep sea shark is sometimes called a living fossil due to its astonishing 125 million year old lineage. This ancient ancestry may be part of the reason why it looks like nothing else on Earth. The aptly named Goblin Shark has pink skin and a very distinctive profile with an elongated snout that looks as if it's been flattened. This one-of-a-kind creature can grow to be between 10 and 20 feet in length, but while humans and most other animals benefit from five different senses like sight, hearing, tasting, as well as those other useless ones like smelling and feeling, but the Goblin Shark has something a little extra. His long nose is specially equipped to detect weak electric fields. This ability allows the goblin shark to sense prey in the dark depths of the sea. While the goblin shark typically prefers to live its days in the depths, it has no qualms about coming up to hunt. In fact, a large percentage of this shark's diet is made up of midwater species such as squid and sea shrimp. Despite its specializations for hunting, the goblin shark is a surprisingly slow swimmer and relies largely on the element of surprise to capture prey. This is where they benefit from sensing electrical fields and attacking in the right direction. Number 8. The Anglerfish Our next entry looks really terrifying, and the more you learn about them, the more frightening it becomes. Anglerfish can live upwards of 3,000 feet below the surface. Mind you, that's around 914 meters. At that depth, life can be pretty hard, and anglerfish have a number of bizarre adaptations to survive. Anglerfish live in environments where there are very few living things. This means that finding prey is a bit of a challenge because they don't eat very much. They're pretty much experts at energy conservation, and in one study, 52% of the specimens examined had completely empty stomachs. This means that when an anglerfish does try to capture prey, they must use as little energy as possible. This means that chasing or battling prey isn't an option. To get around this, the anglerfish actually fishes, apart from its ghoulish face, one of the first things you will likely notice about it is that it has a rather odd filament protruding from its head. This filament serves a very specific purpose. The anglerfish actually uses this filament as a lure to captivate prey, which include crustaceans, teleosts, and primarily pandalid shrimp. These shrimp are the anglerfish's favorite meal. When they aren't fishing with their filament, anglerfish are largely scavengers, so we know how they lure prey, but the anglerfish has yet another bizarre adaptation that is worth talking about. Because they live relatively isolated lives, it can be more than a little challenging for them to mate. This has led to a pretty strange workaround. Males of the species are notably smaller than females, because when a female does find a male, it isn't a matter of competition. In fact, males simply attach themselves to the underneath of the female. Their body then atrophies, leaving only testicles behind. The females can use them to continue reproducing independently without having to locate males. This is another way in which the anglerfish masterfully conserves energy. Number 7. The Vampire Squid This deep-sea squid was originally thought to be an octopus when it was discovered in 1903. 
as it turns out, is actually a small squid that is most comfortable at a depth of around 2,000 to 3,000 feet. This is actually so deep that the area is known as the oxygen minimum zone. This is the depth at which marine life that depends on oxygen can no longer survive. But the vampire squid can survive in environments with as little as 3% oxygen. That not only sounds impressive, but it really is impressive because very few living things can achieve this feat. Like most deep sea cephalopods, this squid has no ink sacs. Instead, it has a far more disturbing method of self-defense. When threatened, the vampire squid will curl its arms outward and wrap them around its own body, effectively turning inside out. This exposes a series of spiny projections that serve as certain discouragement to many predators. If the squid continues to be threatened, it is capable of emitting a cloud of sticky bioluminescent mucus. This mucus creates orbs of blue light in the otherwise pitch black depths. This sudden light blinds and confuses the squid's enemy for upwards of 10 minutes. While this bioluminescent mucus is very useful, it is also a major drain on the squid's metabolic system and it will try to avoid this at all costs. Number 6. The Blobfish Blobfish are often depicted very, very unflatteringly. However, this depiction is partly inaccurate because it is based on specimens that have degraded during preservation. In their natural environment, members of this family have a more fish-like appearance. It was quite a while before anyone got to witness them in their natural environment. This is likely because they live at depths up to 3,900 feet, where the pressure is up to 120 times greater than at sea level. This is what contributes in part to the collapse of their structure when they are brought to the surface. In order to stay at the crushing depths that they do, the blobfish is gelatinous and slightly less dense than water. This allows the blobfish to float slightly above the seafloor without expending any energy to do so. Being primarily a gelatinous blob, this creature lacks muscle and instead gets food by waiting for unsuspecting crustaceans to float by. By remaining very, very still, the blobfish goes almost unnoticed until it opens its mouth and snatches its snack. Number 5. The Mantis Shrimp The Mantis Shrimp can live at depths of 1,500 meters and most of them choose to live solitary lives in burrows and crevices among coral reefs or on the seabed. And while the Mantis Shrimp is small, it is not to be taken lightly. It has a rather shocking ability that makes it a worthy opponent to most prey. Mantis Shrimp come in two distinct varieties, Smashers and Spears. Smashers have a fully developed club on one arm. And spears have a spiny appendage topped with barbed tips. In both instances, it's not so much the tool, but how they use it that makes the difference. A smasher can strike prey at a speed of 23 meters per second. That's 83 kilometers an hour of mighty club or spear. The force of their attack is so great that they can crack aquariums and their limbs travel so quickly that vapor bubbles form around the appendage and their prey are struck with a force of 1500 newtons. This is enough to stun and even kill most targets instantly. And if you still needed one more epic fact about these ninja masters, and there's something to consider. The mantis shrimp has three to four times more photoreceptor cells than a human being. This means that they can see wavelengths of light that are invisible to us. These unique adaptations make the mantis shrimp an expert warrior and earned it the number five spot on today's list. Number four, the obese dragonfish. The dragonfish is one of the deepest dwelling creatures on today's list. It can live at depths of up to 5,000 feet or 1,500 meters. Living so deep below the surface, the dragonfish doesn't get to see a lot of light. But not one to be kept in the dark, the dragonfish uses bioluminescence to produce their own light source. This light works not only to increase visibility, but as bait for other curious fish who may catch sight of the glowing creature. Once unfortunate prey approaches the dragonfish, they are snapped up into its giant jaws. And just how big are a dragonfish's jaws? Well, this relatively small fish, which typically reaches just under 30 centimeters, has a rather enormous jaw filled with sharp fang-like teeth. In addition to the rows of violent teeth, the dragonfish can open its jaw to over 100 degrees, allowing it to consume prey over 50% of their length. That's just a mouthful, let's be honest here. Number 3. Fangtooth. The aptly named Fangtooth looks more like a cartoon piranha than anything. But in fact, you are very unlikely to ever see one of these incredible creatures in their natural environment. That's because they're most comfortable at a jaw-dropping 6,600 feet. Despite its ferocious appearance, the Fangtooth is actually quite small and poses relatively little threat to humans. However, they are very effective hunters of crustaceans, squids, and other small fish. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My pick for today may be one of the weirdest creatures we've ever seen. 
That being number two, Atmopterus kudre. Also known as the shark worm, this terrifying creature has only been encountered a few times in human history, and it's thought to be one of the few creatures to inhabit the very base of the Marianas Trench. The shark worm uses its vicious looking teeth less for eating than for defense. In fact, when it comes to eating, this creature simply opens its mouth and filters water through the length of its body, absorbing useful microorganisms as it does. Because of its unique feeding mechanism, the shark worm doesn't move much during its lifetime and the spot where it hatches is fiercely protected. If another species attempts to attack the worm or remove it from the sand where it's embedded, it will land fearsome bites to the threatening creature, often causing itself harm in the process. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Frogfish Funny enough, despite the name, it's actually a close relative of the anglerfish. The confusingly named frogfish are found in nearly all tropical and subtropical waters around the world, with one notable exception being the Mediterranean Sea. This is unlike its cousin, the anglerfish. The frogfish almost appears fuzzy and isn't too concerned about conserving energy. When this odd-looking creature spots a tasty morsel, it wastes no time in snatching it up. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Which mysterious deep-sea creature from today's list was your favorite? Which would you never want to face in real life? Let us know in the comments section down below, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.